Hi guys, uh, today I will be taking you through a simple real estate management system created using Microsoft Access. Basically, as usual, we shall start by a demonstration of uh, checking on how the system works. Uh, for that case, we have two buttons. We have register tenant and also capture payment per month. Uh, for instance, if I want to register a tenant, um, I just hit on register. Then this is the graphical user interface for registering. This is the rent module capture where I will go to this point here. Uh, at this point, I go to ID number. Like for instance, I just go to add new. Then we capture uh, somebody here. Then let's see that way. Then we capture the serial number that way. Then the deposit, like for example, 500. Then there is no refund so far. You can uh, choose the date from the calendar, the date, then the year. Then the location, like Nairobi West, house number, let's say that one. Then mode of payment, mobile. Then RAD road, we shall have captured the RAD road and also we can capture the month, the month of uh, June. Then we can capture a document here, a document like. Um, Risk agreement, uh, terms and condition form. Therefore, you just go to manage attachment. Then you can add, you can add a document from the, the documents uploaded. The first, I hope that is our document that way. Then from there, we just go to next previous. You see that um, we have captured somebody there. Then you can also close this once you are done and uh, there will be a confirmation message. Uh, confirm exit, no, it will be retained there. Yes, that one will be uh, closed. Then on the other hand, um, ladies and gentlemen, if I go back to my dashboard, I can be in a position to capture payments here where I have the ID number I can capture the name, like for example, we have added this uh, madam here, therefore I can capture the the payments done, that is for the four months, that way, and once I do that, I'll be in a position to see the total paid here. Basically, uh, you can also capture some details from this, but um, the, the simplest method is capturing the main documents from register. Then, on the other hand, this is month one up to 12, therefore uh, month one here stands for January and month 12 here stands for December. And for that case, we shall go through how this system has been uh, done. And um, for that case, we, the, we have the foreign tables. Therefore, we have the foreign tables. We have the expenses table therefore if i right click this one then go to design you'll be in a position to see that uh, i have the expense id as auto number and also the expense as short text then we have rad road table this one uh, look at it therefore we have the rad road id and the uh, rad road name we have expenses where you can have expense one expense two then the amounts that uh, the rad road uh, may, that is the expenses the rad road may, uh, uh, may just go through. Then we have receipt, therefore we have a table called receipt. This is almost the main table. Therefore this is where we have the, the, the that is the receipt, that is the, the tenant ID number, tenant year, then te uh, this is for the uh, okay, I, have, I used P just to separate. The other one I have used T. Therefore, this one is not uh, of so much use, just to make sure that I don't get confused 
when coding or when uh, doing the relationships. Then this is month one all the way to month uh, 12 and then we have the total. This is, will be R here stands for the receipt total. Therefore this is the second table. Then we can also go through the, the other table. We have the tenant table. This is the mother table or the parent table. Therefore for the tenant table, these are the feeds. We have the the tenant ID number, which is uh, can be text or number, tenant name, cell phone, deposit, refund, document, data type is attachment. This is available for Microsoft 2010 and above, where you can use this one instead of o, uh, ORE object or ORE object. Then we have the month, this one T here, uh, goes with the table just to avoid confusion when doing the relationship at joins. Then date joined, date and time, we have the year, number, building or location, house number, mode of payment, balance and rad rod ID. Now here for the rad rod, I have done a bit of relationship using the uh, lookup wizard. Therefore, when you are using the lookup wizard, you choose, I will choose from existing query or table so that um, you can be in a position to quote this one. You can see there is some relationship here. This one, there is some relationship. Like now, this uh, person tenant uh, is at the Rad Road Arab B256. Therefore, the relationship was done through uh, the use of uh, lookup wizard. Therefore, if you go to the relationship, this is the relationship, ladies and gentlemen. We have the relationship that is uh, the Rad Road ID is uh, related to Rad Road ID from the Rad Road table. That is the relationship we have there. Then, um, on the other hand, we have a query. We have a query here. This query is a, a combination. You see uh, that uh, this is the query. The query here, we have the parent table. That is the tenant. You drop all the tenant feeds here. Then you also drop all the uh, child table. That is the receipt feeds here. Then you just uh, like, for example, if you are keen, you realize that I have a tenant ID number. Uh, which should be duplicated in this table and therefore you just drag and drop then you double click you make sure you create the joins therefore i have created the joins that include all records from the parent table towards or should be copied to the uh, child table that's what i have done and that one will be very crucial it will be very important ladies and gentlemen because when i go uh, feeding data I need to do to have some duplicates sometimes if I go to the next uh, year then data should remain for the previous year and that's why I have created the joints therefore the joints are from the parent table towards the uh, the child table then from there uh, we go to uh, the, 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 the the forms therefore for the forms we have the data capture form this one this is the form Therefore, if I just go to design view uh, of this form, this is the design of my form. Only that uh, there is a bit of tricky part for this form here, whereby uh, if you are very keen, let me just take you through how I have gone through this one. If you are very keen, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that uh, there is the joins that we have created in our kingpin query and therefore i have brought the related feeds if you go back to this query here you realize that um, you realize that uh, uh, t uh, this is t id number is related to p id p t id this one and therefore that's why I have brought these ones together that way. Then if we go to this part here, T month is related to P month. That is correct. T month. This one T month has been related to P month. 
and the story continues like that. Therefore, the feeds that are, are rated, you must press them there because I write a simple VBA code uh, on rock on rust forecast event. That's why they must be there. Therefore, this is my design. Then when we go to this button here, uh, you can have this code from my website, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, if I go to properties of this button here, then we go to the code here, event, on click event here. If I hit on this button here, you'd be in a position to uh, see the code. Therefore, this code is code for cross button. It is customized. Therefore, you can see that uh, we have Decre we have declared a variable here. I exit. You can write Y, you can write X, any in letter or any word. Then, provided it is a variable name, uh, therefore you just go to message box confirm if you want to exit. VB question plus VB yes no real estate that is the title. Therefore, you can have this. Then, if the variable equals to VBS, then you cross. That is, um, you cross the form else, you just resume in the same point. Therefore, that is the simple code for, uh, that is the simple code for, uh, that is for cross button. Then, when it goes to opening a form, you can either utilize the, with this button here instead of coding. That is, you just draw this button here. Uh, then, when there is a wizard, I'll just, just go form operations here form operations then for open form you go to next then you see you can choose the form you want to uh, to do that alternatively you can just go to this button here and uh, type a simple code therefore for me i decided to type a code i like coding therefore for that case uh, you just get that um, uh, the code for that is simple here it is here therefore it is do command dot open form then the form name act normal ac normal therefore you can do that or opt to use the wizard the wizard will automatically write for you embedded macro instead of uh, event procedures then ladies and gentlemen the next thing is that um, i came to this point these are the feed names Therefore, you usually hold uh, control and then you drag them to this, then you rearrange them. Alternatively, you can just use the wizard here. Just go to create, then you go to form wizard. Then when you are in this juncture, send everything to this, to your right hand side, go to next. At this point here, you choose tabula. Therefore, you see this is tabula, it will be created just like mine then you do the formatting. Therefore, wizard make your work easier. That is as far as uh, this form uh, is concerned. Then, after having done that, ladies and gentlemen, we also went ahead and um, I went ahead and created this one. This one is also very nice, my nicely created. Therefore, basically, if you are keen, you realize that these ones have been sunken, therefore you just go to properties or then you just go to event, uh, to uh, special effect, special effects here, you choose sunken, that is for that case, so that uh, these ones uh, become sunken. Then these buttons are, are customized, these ones have been customized uh, to Karabrak, therefore you just select by holding control on your keyboard then you go to this point here back car here back car here then you just choose the color of your choice like now i may choose green there we are ladies and gentlemen therefore you notice that uh, they take the color that uh, you have chosen uh, here that is in uh, back car you just choose back car and then your button uh, obeys it will obey your command therefore this is how i have gone about then if you are keen ladies and gentlemen you realize that uh, my buttons are changing color on hover once i place my cursor on them 
then you notice that some color is changing. Therefore, what, how, how do you accomplish that? What do you do, ladies and gentlemen? You select what you want, then you go to hover color here, here, hover. Therefore, hover here. You just go to hover, then you can choose the hover color you want. You can choose the hover color you want. Therefore, when your cursor rests there, there we are, ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that uh, your hover color uh, has actually worked. Then these buttons, just use the command button. It's easier to use this button here. You draw, then go to the wizard, choose these ones here. You just go to these options. Uh, when you are in record navigation, you choose this. Then you just go to next. At this point, you can choose and change the name here. You can choose whatever you want, like go to previous. You see, you can do your stuff there, uh, but uh, that's how you, you actually uh, go about it. Then from there, we also have this logo here. How do you go about that one? Therefore, you can just go to insert up here, then browse. Uh, when you go to browse, then you see you can uh, take a, a picture, then you can just drag there and um, draw it. You can just drag and draw it on the position that uh, you want, just like I have done. Then, after having done that one, we have also done a bit of um, this, uh, this receipt. If I open the receipt, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is the, 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 the receipt. You'll notice that um, there is this module of receipt showing uh, how the payment has been done, including the total uh, for each and every uh, tenant. Therefore, this is the receipt for Don Kichai here. This is the receipt. Therefore, if I am in this module, if I am in this module here main, then I just go to this point, register. You see, I can be in a position to view the statement of the paid transactions. I can also be in a position to see the receipt of a certain customer one by one. Therefore, I just needed to hit next. Then I go to the next guy here. Therefore, this is the next guy. Alternatively, if I want to print, then I can be in a position to print the receipt. Therefore, to accomplish that, I you just need to go to create. Then you go to report wizard. Then you choose from the query, for example, query king, uh, that is let's say king uh, kingpin then you you just choose the just choose the feeds you want you want the feeds you want like for example i need those ones you go to next then um I'm at this point uh, you choose you can choose coramna uh, or tabula depending on what you want then you just go to finish and customize your report accordingly but if i go to if i cross this one cross this one go to design view of this receipt here uh, the next one here this is individual receipt here you'll notice that uh, i have done some customization on the m this is month one month two or the way then this is the uh, if we just go to this you see how the calculation has been done therefore this is the calculation here this is m1 all the way to m12 uh, had been added there therefore in nutshell ladies and gentlemen this is how you come up with a, a simple uh, real estate management system therefore remember to subscribe if you haven't done so ladies and gentlemen also remember to comment share my videos uh, or my channel with your friends and that one will do me good otherwise thank you very much for watching see you in my next session